it's Monday morning. I'm finally vlogging again. Um, I went down to get breakfast. I literally just decided, I was like, I woke up and I was like, I still want to be asleep, but I'll get breakfast and I'll go back to sleep. And the door goes. And I have a book depository package and an Amazon package. Um, I'm a little concerned about the book depository package because I have ordered from book depository recently, except I explicitly put in uh, my giveaway winner's address, so, oops, oh that was loud, um, so I'm just going to put you guys here, way too early in the morning for me, it's not even that early, it's like half nine. I won uh, Chinua from, R oh, she, she changed her channel name from Riddle Solved? I can't remember. I'm so not with it. Basically, I won a giveaway and I got We Are The Ants by Sean David Hutchinson and I am so freaking excited. And my camera's gonna, camera? Camera is going to die. So uh, I will switch to my phone for the Amazon package. But yeah, I got We Are The Ants by Sean David Hutchinson, which I am so excited about. I'm not gonna lie, slightly paranoid because it's. All, I'm, I'm sure it's on my Amazon wish list, so I'm like, knowing me, somebody will have bought that as well. <laughs> but hey, it's fine. But yeah, I am super excited. And uh, now, I hope Amazon has remembered to put in the little like name thingy. What the fuck? Good, they have. They've put in a little slip. Right, I'll look at. <gasps> Kevin! No! Why is this. Why is this wrapped? Hold on, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. One by one. I need to read the thing first. I can't, I can't not read the thing. Hold on. Why are they sending me like two package slips? Okay. So the note says, a, a gift note from Kevin C. Emma, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being my friend and making me one of the first, and being one of the first ones to make you feel so welcome on booktube, Kevin. Oh. If you guys don't know Kevin, he's from the channel Story Glyph. And I fucking love him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So he sent me I Was Born For This by Alice Osman, which I freaking love. I've read one Alice Osman, which was uh, Solitaire. I still need to read Radio Silence. I don't even own Radio Silence. And now I have this. But I also have a net galley arc of this that I've been putting off. So now I have a physical copy, I will actually read it. I'm so excited. Right, what the fuck is this thing that he sent me? I'm very confused. Kevin, you did not. He sent me the Clever Fox Planner. Right, hold on. Where the fuck can I put y'all? <laughs> y'all? I've got American. Oh my goodness. Right, there you go. I did not know this came so well packaged. Okay, so it's in this little, like, box. Oh my, Kevin. I'm gonna sob in a minute. So, it's got all this stuff, right? I literally just saw this a few days ago. But it's basically like a journal, but a planner, but kind of like a bullet journal, sort of pre-set up because it has like habit trackers and shit. And obviously it has a fox on the front, so naturally Emma wanted it. Oh my, oh my god. I'm going to cry in a minute. I'm actually going to cry. Like, dude. Oh, Kevin. Oh, look, it comes with a pen holder. I got because I have the sort of the, the go to bujo, um, but I've failed in using it because like I can't be arsed half the time and I had to buy a separate pen holder. But like, basically, it's got like all this stuff to like say, do you know, like what you're grateful for, um. And like your month planner, it has things for like habits to adopt, skills to learn. Um, you throw on like these stickers for like birthdays or parties or exercising or shit like that. Um, and see like your week, like your week's main goal and your notes and it has a little habit track. It's also got three of these things so you could have like year month and week going at once and oh kevin kevin oh my that has made my morning right happy yes i literally right 
yesterday I was very tired and I was like right everyone when I go to doctors and shit and I'm like I have a problem they're like you just need to exercise me so I was like fuck it I'm gonna prove a point that I am so exhausted and I did a 15 minute walk and even today like you know when you do exercise and you finish and for like maybe half an hour afterwards you feel like you've just finished exercising I still feel like that so I woke up today feeling like me and I've literally been awake 10 minutes <laughs> so that says something but that has just made my day oh my god kevin kevin i'm gonna end this clip here before i literally sob thank you so freaking much you are an angel <laughs> this beats the donuts i still want a donut but this tops it you are an absolute angel oh my god oh man i'm dizzy <laughs> so i ended up having a nap i finished reading actually this is a reading vlog so let's fucking i finished reading moonrise by sarah crossan and i gave it five stars because i literally was fighting back sobs earlier also why the fuck is my blinds open oh i can't reach it now <laughs> right um also, everyone needs themselves a friend like, like Rebecca because I tweeted very quickly earlier and deleted, so I don't even know if she saw it, that I wanted KFC. Um, and I woke up, I was dreaming, and my phone was dinging, and I was like answering it in my dream, but it kept going. So like, I woke up to my phone dinging, and Rebecca texted me saying, I want KFC. So a uh, long story short, she is now coming to get me so we can go to KFC. <laughs> and I am... Um, thrilled like legit fucking love kfc bless you um but i also woke up to the house being empty it's half five bless you <laughs> and bless you are you quite done sir nope okay my mom finishes work at four um but it's half five and she's nowhere to be seen and the house was like dead and i was like right why are mom and john both out and i hate like when I expect something to be like happening, like them to be home, I hate when nobody's like messaged me and said, oh by the way, in case you wake up before we get back, we're here. They went to Tesco to get the cat food, which I told her yesterday at Asda we needed. But it's fine. She also said she was getting presents, so as long as she's buying me something, <laughs> I'm kidding. But oh man, I'm so tired, very hungry, so ready for a KFC, so fucking ready <laughs> on another note um i wasn't feeling great last night i ate a little bit too much which wasn't very much at all oh don't fall over but just too much for me and uh yeah i ate a little bit too much had half a can of iron brew and then abandoned it and i went down just now and i was like that's a good half can of iron brew going to waste so i kind of had a sniff and i was like smells fizzy which i don't know how something smells fizzy but my brain was like it smells fizzy <laughs> so i took a sip it's still fizzy like 24 hours later so thank you ginger drink of gods He really likes the underside. It's Wednesday morning. I'm dying. I have a smoothie for breakfast. It's good. Oh, don't know if you heard that, but that was like my digestive track. <laughs> if you don't have me on Twitter, I'd be having a week. I am so freaking tired like i've literally just woke up and i'm like i'm tired like, i'm not sleepy but like i'm exhausted to the point where i'm like dizzy and i feel like i'm gonna pass out if i'm like standing for too long it's 
stressful as fuck but one of the main reasons I finally started vlogging again this week <laughs> I've done like three clips was because on my 1k Q&A where I had said like oh sorry if I've missed any questions the lovely Vendy from Caught Between Pages was like oh I think you missed my questions and I was like what the fuck and it's really weird I don't know what YouTube's doing but basically I searched my comments thing like on the dashboard I also went to the exact video and I couldn't find it but when I search her name the comment comes up and I'm like what the fuck I don't know I, I've not hidden it so I don't know what's going on but she asked me some three really good freaking questions and I'm so mad I didn't answer them publicly so you're getting a little mini Q&A on here so that I can answer Bendy's questions for her. Uh, apologies that I am zero energy. Bringing zero energy. I can't fucking deal with life. Oh. So her first question is, what's your favorite thing that's happened since you started booktubing? Doesn't necessarily have to be bookish. Just love to hear your reminisce about a good thing that's happened this year. <sighs> this year's been so freaking long. Um, the first thing that comes to my head is both bookish and booktube related and that is my booktube workshop like just the fact that I got to like go out and do something related to my channel just that was awesome to so just don't mention it come out this year because then yeah because so I got my name in like I was in the acknowledgements of a book literally one of my favorite books of all time now so yeah th that happened and non-bookish was definitely going to Paris Although the highlight of that, apart from a really good steak and creme brulee at this little restaurant off the Champs Elysees, is of course Shakespeare and Cole because Aggie the cat came and sat on my lap and like my life was made. Like, if you ever sit in like a super well, like you're not allowed to take fucking pictures in this bookshop. It's like don't take photos because like it gets so busy. Like if you were just standing taking pictures, it's like fucking move. So they don't like really like you taking pictures. But like just imagine sitting in a bookshop, a glorious bookshop, it's literally like a cave of books with a cat on top of you and then all these book lovers are just like oh my god like it was amazing so yeah question two is if you could turn Wicked into a movie or mini series or something like that what who would be your dream cast so I really want to see Samantha Barks for Alphaba just because I freaking love Samantha Barks. But actually I could kind of, I was going to say I could see her as Nessa Rose but that's such an unimportant role like she is not on stage enough and I'm not about that life. If Sam Barks is in anything she's got to be the lead. <laughs> I kind of see her as Glinda. I, well no but she's not a surprise. I don't know. Um, sorry the house phone's ringing and I'm kind of concerned it could be the doctor about my like fatigue <laughs> so uh, it was a doctor what they came up and she's like well, how can I help you and I was like I don't want to talk <laughs> and my mum ran away and I'm like you kind of need me to still be here <laughs> anyway quickly Villa Wang Kike as Alphaba because she was my first Alphaba I don't know I'm gonna come back to this question I'm gonna think about it and the third question is what does iron brew actually taste like and do you know something Oh, if I don't break everything in the process, you probably won't actually get to see it. So sorry, Vendy. Sorry, we're now underwater, but yeah. Um, I physically, literally cannot describe Iron Brew for you because it's indescribable. What does Coca-Cola taste like? It tastes like Coca-Cola, so. Another day, another package. This is Book Depository again, so I think it's the second book from Chinoa's giveaway. For postman, I was like, thanks. <laughs> he was like, you're welcome. So it is the second book, which is The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsenal Rivera. This is like, I have no idea. I want to say it's like a fantasy, possibly. The Hokaran Empire has conquered every land within their bold reach. Using the combination of imperial might and sabotage to devastate and subjugate the nomadic Koran tribes. Uh, it sounds kind of like historical fiction-y fantasy I, they kind of look like sort of Asian V. Schwab blurred it so like I have high hopes it's definitely definitely a book out with my comfort zone but like that's what you need in life so thank you very much once again to Chinoa look at the bookmark relaxing story of my life 
an enjoyable relaxing moment when you sit down to read up your book from Book Depository. I could finally start relaxing. Legit me. I'm going to go back to reading Out of Oz. I didn't actually tell you guys I was reading that. <laughs> Funnily enough, I am still thinking about my dream wicked cast while reading the fourth <laughs> wicked book. I'm like 96 pages into it. It's really good. <laughs> I definitely need to pick up something else though because like the way that Maguire, Gregory Maguire writes, his work is like really high political fantasy and I read it so slowly <laughs> and like I want to finish it this year which I will do. So I should just continually read that but I need a break do you know what I mean? Like I am bleh. So like I need something snappy snappy. <laughs> also quality cat footage. Into, I, I've not been feeling festive this year and I fucking love Christmas so I've put a Christmas wreath <laughs> made out of books on my door video probably out after this vlog so I will link it for when it's up however if we enter it's very blue which I know is not the most Christmassy but I'll tell you what I will put my light on first I've got some lights here got a little Christmas tree, I've got some snowflakes, more lights, I have a book mystery, it's a tree made out of books, um, but oh, also my snowflakes are made out of books, these lights I freaking love, for, hold on let's get dark, dark dark, now I'm gonna get copyrighted because I'm gonna play Kelly Clarkson but you notice these are flashing at weird intervals they flash in time. Kind of. They're so cool! <laughs> Before my camera dies, you both need to come up and see my room. I have a festive room. Yes. Oh yeah. I just pointed out I haven't put my Christmas duvet on yet. You ready? Say hi to the vlog. Hi! Say hi. 
Hi. Oh. <laughs> the reef. She made the reef. Hi. Open the door. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the lights though, they go in time. Party in the <laughs> Is that the clear one? Uh, they're just plain.